What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to check out the new arena mode in eternal evolution interstellar exploration race i'm a big fan of this game mode um it's really really different very interesting mechanics and i really like it however there are some negatives as well it's even caused some drama in my clan which is it's a shame it's a real shame but let's talk about the positives first and look at how it works. And then we'll talk about the negative stuff after. So every single day is different. You're either limited to a class or a faction. Today it's tanks, summoners and supports. Great for me. Um, my summoners are the strongest on my account. Uh, Orphan, absolute beast tank with CC. Um, Anpu doing AoE damage and Anpu and Orthan pout really, really nicely together. Uh, Jax, you know, sort of tanky, doing some damage as well. Um, Serena. Serena could be literally any healer, but she is very, very good at healing. And then Sif just does some crazy damage as well. So very, very good for me. And I think people are going to struggle to break through my D. Um, but yeah, so how it works on the offense is you start on your home planet. Um, and you can just jump straight away to the best planet where you get the most rewards. It makes no sense to me. You know, normally you sort of work your way up and for some reason they put the worst planet all the way at the back. I don't know why, but they have. Um, but yeah, it definitely would make more sense that you sort of climb up and you'd have the best planet at the end instead of up the front. And we get um, these rewards. So if you finish here, you get um, more blue crystals and purple crystals. Purple crystals are uh, crystals, cubes. The purple cubes are better than blue. Um, idle rewards as well. You get more per hour the higher you are as well. Um, and if we come to the shop as well, like you can see where you can spend. And they are crazy good. They've really done a good job on the shop here. Um, so I've skipped Miranda and Rebecca. Don't feel like I really need that right now. Temper material, always good. It will give you massive stat bonuses. You know, your stats will just jump massively. So definitely take those first. Um, then I took all the sort of stamina um, next. Then I would take um, EXP potions and crystals. And then I'll probably take Rebecca and start taking Miranda as well. Skip the hourglasses. Don't see the point in them. Um, these gem random chests, if they're not gold, don't take them, just skip them as well. Uh, for the purple cubes, it's a tough one. So first of all, you have to get the crystal fusion chip. If you don't have this prototype, it's okay. When you get it, this will give you a massive bump. Um, you can put crit rate in there and that will go across every single person on your team and it will just bump up your damage huge. It's like so good. Really, really want to invest in that. Um, yeah, and then obviously you could put some support stuff in there as well. Um, then the next thing would be go for that tamper material again. Make sure you're taking that. Uh, I do want to pick up Keralos as well. Don't have him on this account. Um, Samuel, mine's already immortal. He is god tier. Make sure you do pick him up because he is awesome. Um, yeah, and then it's really difficult actually because the you know the gold gem chest is pretty good. And MR is also good as well. So it's hard. It's hard. Difficult decisions are to be made. So I think the main issue that we're having is in my guild, um, we have the in the top 20, we have 15 of the best players. So there's friendly fire going on. And what happens is, say I went to take on Franca, Franca would just drop out and I'd take his slot. Um, and what's happening is people getting sniped and they're coming back to the home planet and people getting upset because obviously instead of getting like 950 or 800 of the purple cubes, you end up getting a hundred. It's a big difference. And personally, I feel like instead of just going, you know, from the best planet to home, I feel like you should just sort of just drop in rank. So either 
you know, you go to the next planet and it pushes those players down, or there's like a vacant planet like Zoe. Everyone goes onto Zoe and starts to fill that up. Um, because I just it's it's not fair. I feel like it's more of a dev problem than a guild problem. Because at the end of the day, you know, every single person here is gonna want the best rewards. And it makes sense. The best players should get the best rewards. And you can't just, um, you know, first come, first serve. That doesn't seem to make sense to me either. Um, so, yeah, I feel like it should definitely be like a case of you get dropped to the next planet rather than home. Like, I don't know whose idea that was. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. And I guess our server's quite quiet as well. As you can see, it looks like, I don't know, like, what, 30 people play on our server, which is definitely not right. There's definitely a lot more than that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Me, if you're on a busier server as well, let us know how it's going down. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, I don't think there's like a right or wrong answer here as well. Like, I don't have friendly fire with my clan mates, but at the same time, I don't want to miss out on these rewards as well. Um, let me know in the comments below how you would uh, how you would try and fix this problem. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's a really good game mode and it is interesting. I think it's good for the game. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.